By this time next year, a young woman from Liverpool could be the proud owner of a unique Olympic medal. The London 2012 Games is the first where women's boxing has been allowed. And Natasha Jonas from Toxteth is hoping to be one of the chosen few to represent Great Britain. Carl John has been along to see her in action. At 26, Natasha Jonas is hoping to make history. To be in the first generation of women to ever compete for boxing gold at the Olympics. Obviously it's the first time it's going to be in the Olympics. We've got it at, at London, so it's on home soil. So I'm really proud of my achievement so far, but to get to, be, to, get to the Olympics is like, for an amateur, it's, it's, it's the, the, the greatest achievement. Her Olympic dreams still hang in the balance. Tasha is fourth in the world amateur rankings, but was only one of eight women in the GB squad. By May next year, that will be reduced to just the three fighters who will go on to the games. While she waits for the selection decision, she competes, trains and works. It's the blue one. There must be something in the bin, and that's the reason. Tasha is a customer it. service advisor for Liverpool City Council. They support her with an elite sports scholarship. It means she can be flexible about when she works and can also continue with her relentless training. When you first started working here, did anyone know who you were? Um, I think there was like rumours around the office that I was um, I was some kind of athlete, um, but no one actually knew what I did. But obviously now everyone knows. Natasha Jonas, right, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Great Britain. Do they support you? Yeah, they mean they've come along to the Echo Arena um, when I was in the GB Championships last year, um, and they always know when I'm going somewhere, and and, and they're always um, celebrating when I come back. Tasha trains at the Rotunda ABC in Kirkdale, one of the most successful amateur clubs in the country. It's produced 33 national champions in the last 15 years. And trainer Mick McAllister knows why Tasha is special. A discipline, a, a dedication, and she she trains very hard. She never questions anything that you you know that you give her. She just gets on with it. But for Tasha, boxing is a relatively new sport. She first stepped into the ring at the ripe old age of 21. Sport though is in her blood. At home in Toxteth, she took up karate while at primary school because her uncle Harris was a world champion and ran a gym. Oh, you think of a bow and arrow. The arrow's in the bow. You let go of the arrow, what flies is bam! The body, shiver with it, attack with it. Each! She was always active, regardless whether it was karate, his football or boxing, you know, it was always something. The boxing she wasn't really into at a younger age, but she wanted to be around any active sport. After karate, Tasha took up football and once had a trial for Tranmere Rovers ladies team, as well as spending a year in America on a soccer scholarship. When I was playing in them football teams, I was a 14, 15 year old girl and most Friday nights and Saturday nights, a, a, a lot of the young people um, around the, my area at the time were going out drinking and uh, girls were getting into boys and stuff. And to be honest, I didn't really get into it as much as other kids because I knew I always had football on Sunday. As part of the GB team, Tasha now spends most of her week at the English Institute of Sport in Sheffield, and her links with her home club are being stretched. She just comes back to us on the Friday, so she's down there four days now, training with all the, the elites. So it's really, it's like you've done all the hard work, someone else has just taken over. 
Yeah, yeah they, they get the diamond, they polish it. <laughs> Flat footed, walking around. Paul Walmsley, the head of development on the GB squad, used to be head coach at the Rotunda and has trained 75 national champions. Traditionally, scousers are fantastic boxers. What is that? Um, I think it's just a Liverpool is traditionally a hot bed of boxing and um, there's a lot of clubs. It's just in our genes, if you like. She's a very skillful boxer, but I think her calmness and her ability to box under pressure, if you like. She's so laid back. Yeah, I think, so. I think it's a good credit to her, big credit to her. I've never been a nervous person, so from my first bout, I wasn't one that was biting my nails and thinking, oh my God, I've got to get in the ring. That, that wasn't me, because that's not the type of person that I am. I think nerves are good to have, but it's the balance that you have. Some people are naturally nervous, therefore they don't need any more nerves, because it'll just be detrimental to the performance. Um, I suppose I was a bit too relaxed, so I did need a bit more nerves, but it's all about you. Tasha and I are off to meet a woman who's had an enormous influence on her and the other 33 grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and 10 children that she has. It's her grandmother. What do you think about your granddaughter boxing? Um, I made up for her in a way because it's her choice. It's something she wants to do. You didn't push her into that? No one pushed no, her? No, I wouldn't push her into it because Emma was frightened in case she gets hit. In fact, when I've gone to her boxing, I love the other way. And it's only when the old chain go, come on, Tasha, she's won that round, that I turn round and face her and clap. But I couldn't watch it. But she doesn't get hit. She hardly ever gets punched. She does I all know, the punches. But I don't know that, do I? I don't know that. I can feel every punch that somebody's given in. So I would sooner look the other way. If Tasha is to realise her dream of walking into the Olympic Stadium in Stratford for next year's opening ceremony, she must maintain her status as Britain's number one in the lightweight division, and then win the final qualifying bout in China. Given her determination, it's going to be hard to stop her. You can be anything you want to be. Anyone from anywhere can be anything. Just because I'm, I'm black or I'm from Liverpool eight or I'm a woman, doesn't mean that I can't aspire to be what I want. And if you, if you ask for it and you fully believe it, then that's what you'll get. And it's in Great Britain's favour. The final shot has been scored by Natasha Jonas in the. I think that other people can be in a similar situation, or maybe better, or maybe a bit worse, and and they can still look at the positives and think, you know what. Anyone can do it, because they can't.